when the couple are reached a point by I'm saying I'm going to kill you sio kitu imetokezea saa hizi it has it's a pile up that has been piling up and Emotional pressure getting up. getting mm. yeah but if you remove them in bits you come what happened mm. i'm don't know what's wrong what happened when you were when the munenes came to visit us on some minosis began i didn't like the job <laughs> so to nakat my maliza it goes <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> but but atakani ukweli i didn't like it. i don't like it. <laughs> saying my nose is big and forgiveness comes with anger mm. and bitterness mm. it's like is ni kama cousins mm. you get revenge. that eh? mm. revenge mm. yeah like yesterday mm. i remember someone called us mm. I, i was we were, it was a very serious scenario because mm. there's this woman who the, she's married they have three children and one one child passed on mm. after passing on I think the husband could not be able to, to mourn the son naturally. Mm. So what he did, he went and looked for another woman because initially there was no good communication mm. within them. Mm. So during this time when their, their child has died, he went and looked for comfort outside because mm. the one talking with the wife. Mm. So the woman she bonded with is a woman where she goes to eat lunch you know when she's at the place of work you know my son died blah blah and then now the woman started moving with her the lady eats where the husband this, no this 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 the husband eats from work eh, from work mm -hmm. and in a, this kibanda where he eats it is it is owned by a woman oh, okay mm -hmm. so this woman now started comforting you see they, they initially before even the son died mm -hmm. there were there was no good communication at all at all ni ni ile mzee anakuja analeta chakula you know some just doing the mm -hmm. the normal things but there's no communication so when the son died mm -hmm. the the husband was not able to mourn they were not able to mourn together mm -hmm. as a husband and a wife so what he did he went to the place where he eats when he's at the place of work so your mama wa wa kibanda mm -hmm. and they started talking and this man that woman would talk to her like that and at the end of the day she started going to sleep at this woman's house mm -hmm. and so when he started sleeping in this woman's so left the house completely because any time you'd come in the house he was telling the, the other woman he remembers the son how the son would walk and meet them and say daddy and so nataka to avoid like in the wife is not aware aware you know the, now he's wondering where has my husband gone you see now communication it can destroy family so now this man goes and gets another woman with two other children who are not his and he settled there he feels he's, he's okay so what he does he comes to this home brings food for the family everything they need and a supply and a letter and a lipa rent and acha ameweka tokens everything he does then he leaves again that's what he has been doing for the last two years so what happened the wife now because she's you see the, they are not communicating mm -hmm. so the wife is wondering you don't even we don't even have sex together as a husband you only leave us food you pay rent you go he does not sleep in that house mm. completely and the woman has done investigations and she has known she the husband sleeps to the yule mama wa kibanda mm -hmm. so what did she do she went also looked for another man mm. to be sleeping in this house see the husband is not there mm. yes na wanaendelea na tuatu and the man lives so one of these days yesterday when the man was bringing food mm. in the house as he always does and he does it randomly he finds the wife with this man in bed and he guess what we have never we have never handled a scenario that I didn't know what to do. Mm. So the man goes to the kitchen, takes a knife and tells the wife, "I'm killing you together with this man and with the, my children all of them." Hey. Well. This communication. And then he tells the and then he tells the the wife, "Can you talk to your dad and talk to your dad the last words before I kill you?" So now he wants to kill hey. the wife, this man who has been coming in his house and also who? The children. And the children, the two children because they had three and one passed on. And so now the lady calls the father and tells him baba so and so has just come in the house and you know for the last two three years he has not been coming but he provides so he has found me with this other man and you know for me i can't stay like that because he is like he rejected me sexually so i thought of looking for another man who can satisfy me so he has found him and he wants to kill us so and then this muse now the father who is very far calls me and asks me pastor so what am i going to do and i was wondering i wish we were in america We call 911 and immediately in the next 2 3 minutes they are there and it was such a confusion 
Yesterday, I've never handled such a case. Wow. The father is miles and miles away. I think stays in Mombasa or in, in far. Mm -hmm. And they're here in Nairobi. The couple is here in Nairobi. So, and I was just there. And then the wife would, was telling the man, even if you kill me, kill me because oh, what did you want me to do? See, yeah. even news, you have another woman, even me. I had to look for someone to satisfy me sexually. You see now, revenge. revenge yeah. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm saying. And forgiveness brings anger. Anger brings bitterness. Bitterness brings revenge. Revenge brings death. In fact, until now, I have not called them to know what really happened because we held hands even with my children and even I, uh, Pastor Monen, I told him, can we pray for this family? Mm. And we sent the angel of God to stop the angel of death because now, uh, tomorrow, we'll hear news mm. of a husband, husband who, 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 and maybe he also killed himself, mm. you know? Mm. And it was such, as we knew, we have, I told the father, the only thing we can do, let's just pray for them. Mm. So that's what we did. So why all these things? Mm. There was the, the, the cause of all these things to the death is because there was no communication. Mm. And I think this is an example, a perfect example of what is happening in most marriages. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find when there is no communication, you will find even a husband and a wife, you know, they are staying in the same house, but they don't sleep in the same bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Because you are wondering why go to sleep with someone who is not who is not talking to you because yake ni kunyamba hapo, you know, uh, you know, you know, snoring and all that. So you opt to go to the other. Frustration. <laughs> aku, aku, there's, no, there's no sex. So you see now that frustration yeah. and frustration is coming because of what? You guys are not it's talking. There's no communication. Mom, whatever you're saying mm -hmm. is really right because yes. if there is a, 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 an environment of bitterness mm -hmm. and bitterness doesn't come because the person has annoyed you. Mm -hmm. Bitterness could be something that you, you need you ought to have dealt with. Maybe mm -hmm. you are carrying some pain from your childhood, you are carrying some pain from your past. Mm -hmm. So anything your partner does is a trigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to be very careful of bitterness that creates revenge because mm -hmm. such an environment, it is difficult for God even to command his blessings. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. says in, 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 in the book of Psalms that where there is peace, mm -hmm. it, there he, it pleases him and mm -hmm. he commands his blessings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see like now mom, you are saying death was almost mm -hmm. coming to a family and uh, it reminds me of a certain time when we were still uh, emotionally mature mm -hmm. I like using our example mm -hmm. and I like sharing it because it could mm -hmm. help somebody mm -hmm. uh, I think another thing that has also helped us I reached a point where I said that it doesn't yeah, it is the ego the egoic thing mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be about me and my ego mm -hmm. and what would I just do different to change this situation there was a time, there are moments that maybe we, we, are, we were not talking. We are, we are not in terms. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I come to ask myself, so for how long will this thing continue? Mm -hmm. How can I break this pattern? It mm -hmm. takes a lot of strength to break a pattern, mm -hmm. especially if you feel you are the one who is right. Then, wow. uh, then you come back and you say, honey, you know this is not us. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we can do about it? Already you've disarmed this person mm. <laughs> because you are fighting, you are at war, he's mm. ready for, or she's ready for attacking. Mm. <laughs> but remember, honey, you know this is not her. We don't fight. You're not a couple that fight. Mm. You've sold a lot of things, mm. something that wow. the enemy was intending for your own mm. home through maybe a text. You find that the, the season of Neil by month where you are not talking to your husband or your wife, somebody, the, the daughter of a devil or son of a devil is somewhere where the enemy has placed strategically. Mm. So you, you are feeding your ego, but in ignorance you are really destroying your home. The Bible says a, a wise woman builds. One of the way of building is swallowing your ego. Mm -hmm. It will take a lot of strength to just go back and say, mm. it's not worth it, honey. Mm. I know, no, it, we, we see things from different perspective, but I don't think if it is worth fighting. Yeah. You will not lose anything, but the problem, us ladies, especially now in this generation, we are so much, eh? Aizi ni onyesha. Kaende, kaende. But kaende, kaende. Kaende na wewe. Yeah, it is your time. This guy is going to take beer with the buddies. You will be here with your kids, imagining what is now going on. Mm -hmm. Me, I, I have never wanted a situation whereby I don't know what is going on in my husband's life. Wow. The nitty gritties, I must know. Mm -hmm. Because there is no way I'll swallow my ego to ask me, hey, so 
where are you what is your plan tomorrow next week if you are fighting mm -hmm. so i as well you ask break the pattern if you have a pattern of this particular day you have to quarrel and 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 start fighting and be quiet for a while know that it is a pattern and maybe it is time, something you need to pray about yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah mm -hmm. uh, that that's very true and i think in this area we have really mm -hmm. grown miles yes mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, i've just had something you said about the three levels of communication mm -hmm. and i can say maybe we have the outer core mm -hmm. the inner core and the holy of holies wow. <laughs> that's now where we mostly uh, mostly assume kabisa mm -hmm. i remember when i was a very young boy i was coming from school in primary school mm -hmm. and i just used to love couples mm -hmm. and i still love couples until now mm -hmm. irrespective of i coming from a family where there was no father and mother mm -hmm. when i just put people together i'll just follow them behind mm -hmm. so there was this guy and be happy and, and, them. and i lady they were just talking and i was like Sasa wana sema nini ya watu. <laughs> and I was like, when when I'll get married, what, what, what will I be telling my wife? Mm -hmm. Suppose you get married, then the first year we finished, we finished talking. Hizo mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That was my worry. Oh, because I goodness. knew what will end yeah. after a few years. Because tuongea yes. kila kitu malila. Then it, 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 it's because like, like a day I was going to meet a lady somewhere. Yes. And I, 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 we were to talk to meet a lady for three hours. Mm -hmm. So I wrote down the jokes and the points we will discuss yes. in that three hours. Yeah. But when we, I met at the first 20 minutes, I had finished all jokes and everything. Now we are finished. Yes. <laughs> kila kitu ni rehearse yote image of... Mm. So now we have nothing to say. So I was like, now in marriage, after two years, I'm a one year. So I was like, yes. but you've given us how we should do it. Yes. We should be able to know the, the, the outer core, the inner core, and the holy of holies, oh, which yes. is now the two for us, exactly. Oh, yes. And then you've talked about the, the five points of precision and whatever. Mm. I was just sitting a point here about um, T.D. Jackson, and he says that how many wives say, he never tells me he loves me anymore. Mm -hmm. And if you ask the husband, he'll probably say, of course I love him mm -hmm. or I love I her. Love her yeah. why, does, why doesn't she know that? I come home every night. I fix what is broken around the house. Mm -hmm. I make sure there is food on the table. Yes. The fact is, we need to hear words of love from our spouse That's and great. it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. There are countless husbands today who need to hear words of love, mm -hmm. encouragement, and appreciation from their wives. Mm -hmm. They ache to hear that what they do is valued and that who they are is adored. Mm -hmm. And she's very good in that and I also recommend you for that. Mm -hmm. She will just come and tell you, uh, uh, like I think it was yesterday when she came and asked me, so for you, uh, between words of affirmation mm -hmm. and and touch was it touch? and touch, and touch. Which, 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 which one do you like mostly mm -hmm. because you can just come and just sit where i am and answer to <laughs> so i asked yeah. her how far should the touch go will matter <laughs> 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 yeah if the touch ends in happy ending i love the touch <laughs> But if it doesn't end there, yeah. then I will prefer words of formation. Yes. And she'll come and tell me, by the way, you are a very great man. So I'll be like, why? Wow. Uh, why my great heels? Just to bring very tiny, tiny things mm. that will. Uh, uh, and, 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 and I'm now seeing a sense in that. Mm. And that you said about appreciation, mm. even if someone does a small thing, like she was very poor in making chapatis. Mm. For the past, I think, five years in a marriage, I've been the one who has been making chapatis in our house and making chapatis. They come out very nice, circular, big, mm. nene. And then, I can't come with some. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, uh, no, I've, I've not reached my, the point. Yes. Because I retired. <laughs> wow, you retired. Yeah, so, so she, she began making corners. Mm. But there's always my talk about her. Really? No, really, you can't be a corner. You can Next time she makes a round on. Right now, I can never compare my chapatis to hers. Wonderful. And I stopped making chapatis in the house. Wonderful. Now she makes very nice, very round, very big ukitoni layers too. Just from me telling her, because I'll come and say my chapata who na pika kwa nyumba. But I began telling her, your chapatis are very nice. Kwa nzo ki mix too. Because I knew nanga pale pa shepa yito. Kina mbio, mixing yako yiko sour. The way you mix flour, sugar and salt in a balance vizuri. So you can party mwasa. Na mbio now cook. So she began making one by one shapes in Arabica. Zina talk about the terms in answer kuja. Right wow. now she's doing so well. You see that communication. Yeah, so I think communication. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, just finally, mm. uh, also what is also killing marriage is whereby we have an issue in our marriage that comes up, then we don't talk about it. Mm. Mm. Another one comes again, 
we don't talk about it tunanyamaziana mm -hmm. so it's just like you've just taken trash mukika nyuma kiti kwa carpet tena kesho tena mtoto wengine tena muweke there is a day you'll either be forced to move from that house yes. or you clear the whole baggage so we have marriages where there are a lot of baggages of trash in their houses yeah. mm -hmm. they never cleared so imejai mm -hmm. so it's a pile up ndio mm -hmm. when the couples are reaching a point by now i'm saying i'm going to kill you sio kitu imetokezea saa hizi it has it's a pile up that has been piling up and Emotional pressure getting and getting mm -hmm. yeah but if you remove them in bits you come what happened mm -hmm. I'm the new was wrong what happened when you were when the Munenes came to visit us on some minosis began I didn't like the job <laughs> so tuna cut my maliza it goes really. yeah. <laughs> 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 but but I didn't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> saying my nose is big. So oh <laughs> So after that I say I didn't like it. Then we say open it some up where could be pain some okay. So I never talk about your nose again. Mm. Then we finish. Again so tomorrow another one comes we tackle it. When I'm on the wrong I say I'm sorry for that. I apologize. We clear it out. Yes. So there'll be no point where we want to kill each other. One of the things that also destroys communication. Yes. Kiyo's communication mm. in the family. Mm -hmm. It is when I decide mm. to do projects mm. and I don't tell her what I'm doing. Mm. Yes. She will hear through Mrs. Salano mm. what the husband of Sue is doing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and, and she is the one to brief her. Are you aware <laughs> your husband <laughs> is, building. is building in Akuru? Mm a five story building mm. okay mm -hmm. ah by the way pastor monene are you aware no pastor sue mm -hmm. are you aware your husband is going to germany mm -hmm. and has processed all the papers yani mm -hmm. yeah, Mabo. Kwanza hata waletangi hivyo. This is this how they always say it. Yes. Nangambia, by the way, yes. ilikuwa nataka nikwambia, yeah. utakumbusha mzee akitoka yeah. jamaa nikuje na ile perfume nilikuwa namwambia. <laughs> mzee mgani? Ah, si wasiba naenda jamani. I have no clue. Atakuja rafiki. Anaweza yeye perfume mwenye. Maybe yes, all this that spare yeah. part nilikuwa naitaka. Yes. Ni kuna ile spare part nilikuwa namwambia akitoka jamaa analeta. So can you please remind him atudia saa wake? So you're like, oh, Germany, which one? Which mm -hmm. husband? He's going to Germany when? That's Or maybe happened. it's my mother mm. who is mm -hmm. telling her, mm. you know, uh, what I'm doing mm -hmm. <laughs> and the way I'm investing mm -hmm. and where I'll be next week. Ambia mzee kokoto imeisha. And I think those things, they destroy, they kill communication because yeah. now mm. when it's my brother who is bringing to her news mm. what i'm doing mm. you know all my documents have signed me and my brother mm. she's she doesn't feature anywhere mm. then she begin to wonder mm. oh kwani who did i get married to mm. why yeah. why why am i am i being put in such kind of a situation mm -hmm. yeah th there is this over word of a, uh, is it appreciation mm. whereby you are appreciated mm. no you are you, you you expect to be appreciated but you are turned down mm, like? like like maybe i come and tell you darling do you know what mm. i've just been promoted at my work <laughs> and you're like you need to you need to your fryer People are buying house and cars and we're going to get promoted. So that is the wrong see, communication. Yeah, like a friend of us in Eldorot, who one, well, he, he is owning... It kills the yeah, ego. Yeah, he's owning flats. Mm. So one day a wife, his wife brought him out, told him, Ebu kuja kidogo banane. And Bruno Yogorofa. There was a, a very new story being, being, being mm. made there. Akamambia, hosa undi wa naume. Are you seeing that? That's not what men are building. Not these things we are doing here in the name of uh, yeah. being a man. Really, men are building story buildings. Mm. So this man came to me and that thing crushed me. And I mean, he has rentals that he has two story building rental, but this one was almost 20. Mm. So we should, um, you so, can motivate people by positive yeah. words than mm. motivating them by challenging them with someone Comparing, else's uh, yeah. strength. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think that has really killed so many uh, communication, mm. as uh, Salan was saying. Mm. It's not right and it is quite uh, out of order. Mm. To compare your partner with someone else. Mm. Yeah, it is. Never do that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Never. Even when it comes to sexual performance, you know, money, prowess, whatever, even knowledge, you can't go. Nobody is like your husband. Mm. Nobody is like your wife. Mm. You know very well you have children and they are quite different. They don't look like you. Mm. Even the way they do things, they don't look like the mother, the father. Mm. They are just unique. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we were saying, the, the, the fifth air, A. Mm. We said allowing your partner to, to be. be. To be yes. wow. You get the point. Eh? Mm. So, he, he mambo ya comparison, mm. that uh, look at what other men have done. You, you, you are calling yourself a pastor. What have you done to us? Mm. Uh, probably if that thing <laughs> would have come. Mm before we would not be a husband and a wife we would yes. have separated yeah. Sure. Yeah. and it is important for us to know that uh, uh, you know th the best is yet to come mm. uh, let's not judge ourselves harshly because of what we we are going through today because our tomorrow is in god's hands Amen. and as, as we continue confessing the word of god and believing together with my husband mm. the commanded blessings who also cause and blessing is not material Amen. in fact the greatest blessing in marriage is peace of mind mm. wow the greatest for me the greatest blessing of any marriage that is successful mm. it is not having a big car and they are good having a big house and it is good having a big name and it is good all these things it's not a lot of money for me the biggest gift that i can give to my husband and mm. vice versa is us i and me that we are at peace with one another mm. peace peace of mind peace oh, of heart wow. any other thing can come now when we are in that environment. Mm -hmm. wow. But if something else comes and we are not at peace with one another, mm -hmm. it, it's all nothing because mm -hmm. if you have no you peace of mind it. and heart, you mm -hmm. won't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You get the point. Eh? So you find uh, communication has really been affected by so many things. Mm -hmm. Even even uh, <clears throat> what we are talking of, nonverbal communication, people even communicate through text. You know, now we have the gadget, the phone, jutaki kuongea, you just go sit down mm -hmm. in a seat and you begin just to chat. You know, until 3 a.m. You find some men and women are in the table room on the seat. Ata kikiti mekuwa na shimo. It's like another bed. You get that? Because when the you man is in, when a the, lot of time, time there. Yeah, because when the man is in the in the in the in the table room, the wife is in the bedroom. When the wife is in the bedroom, the wife is in the, it's like they can't stay together. Mm. Yeah. You get that? Because the communication, the, the, the environment is so there's a lot of tension. tension you know tension that you can even feel it mm. you know but uh, i want to say this the word of god is very clear in the book of ephesians 4 mm. verse 32 the bible says uh, be kind to one another mm. be tender-hearted mm. forgiving one another as mm. the lord has forgiven you mm. i think for me that's a verse for couples mm -hmm. be kind to one another mm. so there are two wheels that drive communication in marriage mm -hmm. kind words and the kind action, action. Mm -hmm. Wow. You get the point, eh? Yeah, there are only two wheels. You know, in communication, we have only two wheels, mm -hmm. you know, that drives marriage. Mm -hmm. Kind words kind and action. kind actions. And when we talk about kind words, it means you have to be very intentional, very mm -hmm. deliberate, conscious, that you really want just to be kind to them. Even when you feel they have not done something uh, right to you, learn to package it in a way that will not hurt your partner. Mm -hmm. You do not tear down, do not feel useless. Mm -hmm. You know, demeaning them, feeling them feel they are nothing. I think it's just a matter of being intentional. Because even if you hurt him, so what? What have you gained? And if a mess has already happened, you can't rectify by being rude. I mzuri jumekuwa rude. Mm. So I think we just have to be, you know, gentle. Kind words means you are gentle, you are respectful, yeah. you honor him, yeah. you are sensitive, mm -hmm. you are loving, you are peaceful, you are patient. I think it's the fruit of the spirit. So if there is any misunderstanding between a husband and a wife, like say, for example, Salano and your wife, mm -hmm. you have someone who can be able to listen to your, to your argument mm -hmm. and be able to guide you and tell you no. I think what we need to do is one, two, three things. Yeah. We need men us and mentors we only don't need them when we things are bad even when they go when the goings are good it is important for you to gather knowledge another important thing when it comes to communication invest in knowledge uh, I, I don't know how many couples are listening to me mm -hmm. and every week they read a book or listen to a someone that talks about marriage so you find so many people have no a lack have a have, have, have lack of knowledge 
concerning how to communicate to each other. Like one of the things that I love about communication is every husband must ask themselves when they are talking to their wife. Every husband that wants to sustain marriage until Jesus comes back. This is the first question that must be in front of your mind as a husband. What I'm about to tell my wife, mm. what I'm about to discuss to my wife, does it sound unloving? Why? Mm. Women want to hear love from their husbands. Mm -hmm. And the wife, the first, in, the first question that must be in front of your mind, what I'm about to tell my, my husband, husband, does it sound disrespectful? Mm. Because men want respect and honor from their wives. Mm. That, that, that small truth, mm. when it gets into wow. your mindset, you, you wear it with your mindset, it even programs your words towards your partner. Mm. Because men want respect, even when they're in the wrong, mm. they want respect from their wives, and they want honor from their wives, mm. and vice versa. Now, now, women want love. Even if I've done something wrong that has pissed you off, are, are, you, are, you, are you loving? Do you, do you sound loving? Do mm. you sound concerned and caring? Mm. And so, those are things that can help us be able to maintain maintain our relationship and have a very healthy marriage because without communication then we are going to have a very stale mm -hmm. marriage mm -hmm. and uh, this marriage mm -hmm. cannot continue and that is one of the causes of divorce mm -hmm. uh, because they don't people don't communicate and you find when you don't communicate you don't connect you don't connect physically you don't connect emotionally mm -hmm. you don't connect spiritually and so you disconnect mm -hmm. and so killing and destroying one another becomes very easy so wow. may the lord help us Amen. to be best communicators Mm. in our marriages and mm. communicate in such a way mm. that is respectful and loving to your partner. Mm -hmm. wow. Thank you. Wow, I know this has been one of the best topics ever uh, in this show and you have learned so much. So just before we conclude the show, I want to give each one of us a chance to say a word, then we call it shorts. Words are vehicles. They will take you from one point to another. Anytime you are communicating to your spouse, you are removing them from one point to another point. Where are you taking your family? Where are you taking your spouse? I want to remind you what we have just said. That communication in marriage, it is just like what blood is to the body. And therefore, when you communicate, the life of your marriage will be there. When you don't communicate, your marriage will stagnate. It will die. And that's why we advise couples, stay together. Be, uh, be in one place. Because when you are together, there is a lot that you can do. Thank you for staying tuned until this moment. We, we believe that whatever we've been discussing has really helped you and your partner. We will still encourage you, I encourage you to communicate when angry, communicate when happy, communicate on little things, on big things. Let your partner into your space, create a safe space for your partner. And when angry, communicate respectfully lovingly just like our elders have mentioned and if you have grievances in your heart co create an environment of forgiveness forgive your partner there is no one who is perfect you aren't perfect yourself your partner is trying to bear and get along so be patient with your partner if you've communicated an issue and still it's work in progress give your partner time let them grow in that line of direction, encourage them in the area of weaknesses. And with the communication, I know your marriages will be blossoming and God will bless your families. Communication is very important in marriage and relationship. And every couple and every husband and a wife that endeavor to have a healthy marriage, they must know they began their relationship with communication, they married in communication they will continue in marriage communicating to one another until death do you apart may god help you and help us to make sure that communication will be continuous just like oxygen is continuous to every one of us so that we can be able to breathe and live a satisfied life god bless you
there is no certificate awarded to a winner of an argument in a marriage. So always, don't always struggle to win an argument. And also we've learned over time that coming up with a very good communication strategy is being intentional on how you will come up, how you can solve your issues. Like for example, in our marriage, when we were angry in our early years, we will abuse each other, call names from the, because we are from different tribes, abuse them depending on the tribes they are. But reach upon and say that, can we, today from day that when we are arguing, we never mention our tribes, we never mention our families, and we stuck with that. We can also come up with ways that let us do this when you are communicating or when you are arguing. Can we not reach a point whereby you can abuse me or call me an animal so that you will be able to come up with a way that will help you to communicate without fighting or arguing.